right, family. Let me just make sure I give y'all this information. Um, as I have a few people that have been, and also I've checked for myself. Uh, if they haven't received a, a stimulus check, okay, and um, there's several reasons why. Okay, so good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, your minister of soul. Hello, Khadija. <laughs> okay. Guys, listen, let me try to get serious for a minute. Okay, some um, people want to know why they haven't received their stimulus checks, okay? Let me do a little different video today, and let me give you uh, at least five, six reasons why you might not have gotten a stimulus check. And if you are eligible in terms of your income, um, don't sweat it. Because there was just millions, of, like a million of dollars that went out to deceased people and, um, you know, just meeting people that died not during the stimulus or while they were waiting. I'm talking about years prior to that. So there's a lot of still glitches that were or that needed to be worked out that they hadn't done. And hopefully that's what they're doing. So let me just give you all several reasons why you might not have received a stimulus check. Um, your payment has been scheduled for later in the year. The IRS is sending checks to those um, with the lowest, lowest income first. So say if you receive a Social Security check or you receive some other kind of income, you, you know, it might get, you know, a little delayed. The IRS began processing your paper check before you submitted your direct deposit information. And if that happens, you'll get it in the mail. Okay. Um, the banking information the IRS has for you is out of date or no longer valid. The IRS uses banking information from your 2018 or 2019 tax return um, in order to rescind your payment. If your tax preparer set up a temporary account, such as a prepaid debit card, for you to receive your returns, the agency can reprocess the check uh, by mail. Okay. Um, the IRS was waiting for your banking info before sending you a check, and if you didn't sign up for direct deposit by May 13th, the IRS began sending paper checks and debit cards to those from whom it lacked banking information. Your bank had trouble processing the direct deposit. That could be a reason as well. Okay? So, so far, that's what? One, two, three, four, five reasons. Here's six. Um, an unacclaimed dependent is not eligible for a payment. So, if somebody claims you, then you can't get it. Parents who are not married to each other and do not file a joint return cannot claim a qualifying child as a dependent. Okay? So, if you're not married to each other uh, and don't file a joint return, don't even try it. Only the parent who claimed their child on their tax return may receive the payment. Uh, dependent college students do not qualify for a payment. Okay, so and if you're behind on your child support, the IRS said your payment may be reduced or completely deducted. Okay, or lastly, you might have been scammed. If you received a letter from the IRS indicating that the agency has already sent you your money and the payment has arrived, then you need to report that. The letters will also tell you how to do that. Every individual making $75,000 or less will receive a check for $1,200. Couples making less than $150,000 and that filed, and that filed uh, uh, taxes jointly should receive $1,200 for a total of $2,400 with an additional $500 for each child. 
those making between seventy five thousand and ninety nine thousand a year, which is like what one hundred and ninety eight jointly, should receive reduced checks on a sliding scale. Those making more than ninety nine thousand individually um, are ineligible. Um, eligibility is being determined by twenty nineteen and twenty eighteen tax returns. But for those that are not required to file taxes, the IRS has set up a separate tool. Follow the link um, and the and the instructions. If that's if you're going to go online to uh, www.irs.gov. Um, the government will verify your income and you see if you qualify. Um, if you have a bank account, you'll receive your stimulus check. So, And then if you go to that website and see if you get a, a error message that says, what does payment status unavailable mean? That means that the IRS hasn't processed your 2019 return. It means that the, the application doesn't have your bank data and the IRS is working to add it. It means that you usually don't file a tax return. You use the non-filler section of the website and your entry hasn't been processed yet. You receive SSI or VA benefits and don't file a tax return. You're not eligible for a payment. Now, that's pretty much um, not going to be a lot of people because I told you the ones that are ineligible. And that's people that are making, um, you know, uh, uh, um, an amount that they think you, don't, you, don't, you shouldn't have it. How to report a missing stimulus check to the IRA, IRS? is you may have to dial this number 1-800-919-9835 that's 1-800-919-9835 if you still have questions especially if you haven't received the check or you get the dreaded payment status unavailable notice um you just have to figure that out and call that number the irs has added 3500 more telephone representatives in may but don't be surprised if you don't get through immediately. People have a lot of questions. Okay, so it, you know, it's still a process. But you can go online and, you know, like I said, to me, that's a limited amount. But some people say that the people that you call are reading directly to the screen. Either way, whichever one works out better for you, call that number 1 800 919 9835. And then you can talk with at least with a human being. After you go through a service, a series of prompts. One question a lot of people have is whether the stimulus money will affect their 2020 taxes. Don't worry about that. It won't do it. It is not considered taxable income, so it won't increase what you owe or reduce your refund when you file next year. The question the IRS can't answer is a second is a second stimulus check on the way. Is a second stimulus check on the way? Yes. Or possibly. Senate Republicans rejected the plan that passed, and that was back then, so we already know that it has passed since then. So um, now people are actually trying to see what's going to happen with the fourth stimulus. That's basically what's going on right now. Um, the first check was 1200 I think the second one was 600 and the third one was fourteen hundred. So those are the checks that went out. So if you didn't get any one of those, you need to start inquiring about it, or it could be one of those reasons that I just gave you prior to this. So I hope that information helps somebody, and you know how to track your uh, status of your stimulus check. Figure it out. Get it. You're eligible. You need it. Okay. And we'll see you in the next video.